Hello, this is HG Baby, and welcome back to Let's Play Hexes Force! Since last time, I cleared out all the enemies in, well, this area, this area here at least. Uh, not the entire area, but uh, well, most of it. So, uh, remember last time, well, you know, it's probably been a while, but uh, since last time, well, let me start. Last time, there was a sign that told us, don't push these boulders into the pit. But we're going to be doing that anyway. Because the sign told us not to. And, well, if you do that, we get some rewards for doing so. Now what I'm going to do is, yeah, basically clear out all the enemies here. Start pushing some boulders around. And it'll break... Uh, just take my word for it. There's some ice wall thing down there. And that will... It blocks your path to get through the remainder of the plot. So you push one down there you can proceed with the plot. But if you push all eight down there, and there's, well, yeah, eight boulders in all, then, well, you can get some rewards for doing that. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm going to uh, fast forward this, or the rest of this, so that way, well, we can uh, get through this a lot faster. I'm just gonna do this, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do this, uh, Fast forwarding here. That way uh, we can just get through this relatively quickly. But I still want to show all this on screen. So that way you guys know where all the boulders are. Or you could just look up my text walkthrough on GameFAQs. I have a map that I made in there too. Okay, that should be all eight of them. And hmm, I wonder what that sound was. Well, let's go check it out. Now that we've uh, opened all of that. But anyway, now that... We've uh, done that. Let's go grab some treasure. If the game will let me. Haha! Ooh, an orb of wisdom. That's gonna be worth a lot of force points. So uh, let's uh, take care of that. Uh, let's see. Here we are. Now I do have another orb of wisdom from an achievement, but you probably couldn't have gotten that yet if you. Uh, well, you're playing on a regular new game. So I'm gonna ignore converting that to kind of keep myself on pace with anyone who's only playing this path first, or just only playing this path. I mean, I do like the story better on this path, and you will see why today! So anyway, let's head on over here. Okay, can't rotate the camera on this one, I'm afraid. Oh, well. Well, oh, right, I forgot. I was kind of cheating when I was killing the enemies off screen there. I uh, used the illusion cloak, obviously, in a regular new game, you're not gonna have that, but oh well. Eh, I can still sneak up on the enemies easily enough anyway. Hmm, a foresight there, but let's not uh, purge that yet. Instead, we want to go down here, because, well, there's a save point. Okay, I think that's all the enemies around here. Yes, okay. Now, what I want to do, if I haven't already done it, no, I have not. Do I have one? Yes, I do. Oh, I need a full electric orb. Electric boogaloo. Oh, well, I don't even know what a boogaloo is. Okay, so, uh, we need a full electric orb, and I've got plenty of reagents for that, so that'll work. Uh, hmm. I don't care for the aqua orb that much. Well, equip. Er, nope, not that one. Yeah, I gotta look at the durability. We want a full electric orb for this part. So, let's save up here. And head back to that foresight. Now, uh, the reason why I want to equip the electric orb on Ciel there is because, well, the enemies in this foresight are, well, susceptible to it. And I can get a pretty good drop from these guys, and you can't meet up with them for quite some time. For boss time! Yeah, do that again. No? Oh well. But anyway, yeah, just have uh, the guys defend up front, kind of tank a little bit there. Oh, nuts. They got, uh, what is it, paralysis? Yeah, so few enemies use that on you, but it's basically like the slow status of the game for some reason. I don't know why it doesn't uh, do it like the Final Fantasy games, but whatever. 
So yeah, just use Thunder Drop on them, and hopefully we'll get the item drops that I want. If I don't, well, I'll just uh, reload and try again. I keep on thinking I gotta press triangle to defend, but no, that's another game. With a turn two on the right there, too. Close. Oh, wow. Anyway, do I get him? Uh, was that what I wanted? Uh, huh! I didn't get the items I wanted. Okay, well, I'm going to have. Oh, I got the rare items from them. Which uh, actually is not what I wanted from them, ironically. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go back off screen to do that, and uh, I'll be right back. That was close. Well, apparently, sometimes you can get too lucky. But, uh, well, this time I got everything I want. I wanted to get the two pointy horns there, which are common drafts, especially if you use, uh, thunder to defeat them. And for clearing the force set, we get a stardust, which I'm just gonna convert into force points there, so let's go do that. But yeah, uh, yeah, we're not gonna need the pointy horns for a while, but they're kind of difficult to get at this point in the game, so I figured let's take a guaranteed opportunity to run into the enemies and do it that way. Let's see, how are we doing there then? Let's see, we're done with the electric orb. Let's see, where is... What was... Oh, there we go. Okay. And I've got a good force burst, so that'll be helpful. Let's save again, just so I don't have to worry about potentially screwing that up again. Or, uh, did I? Save? I thought I did. Let me try that again. Oh, okay. For some reason, I didn't think it would save that quickly. I'm used to games taking like five or ten minutes to save. Well, not that long. You know, what the? Whoa! Where did these guys come from? These guys look a little shaded me, but we can take them. Uh. Hmm, I don't have enough for shooting star. Oh well, I can show that one off later. Okay, so, first things first. Let's uh, hit the one in the back there. Whoa. Uh, can you hit anyone in the back there? No. Well, you can counter claw. Eh, why not? Give it a shot. See how well the back works. Let's blitz assault on the front row. By this sword! Yeah, got it. Now, just like the uh, soldiers we met up with earlier in the game, uh, these guys are void elemental, so uh, or void aspect. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter what you use on them. Hopefully, I will get one of the rare drops I want. No, I did not. That's right. There we go, that's the drop I wanted to get from them, the Lymphos Fluid. It's very useful for a side quest later on. And uh, yeah, it only took me four tries to get it. So yeah, that's one of the things I love about this game. Rare drops are rare in name only. I mean, it only takes like three or four tries, boom, you can get what you want, and it really helps out later on in the game. I mean, if you don't if you really don't want to do it and you don't care about doing every single side quest, well, it's not that big of a deal, but it would be nice. Okay, so let's move on then. Uh, now, if you went up here, yeah, there'd be ice blocking the path, but since we dropped, up, dropped those boulders down there, we don't have to worry about that. So let's go this way first. And we still can't uh, see where we're going. Oh, well. Well, and just like before, just take it nice and easy. Watch out for the spikes, they will hurt you. Hmm, I wonder what's that area down there. Looks kind of important, especially because it's symmetrical. Well, okay, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but eh, close enough. Doesn't bother my OCD. 
Okay, now here's where we get some good stuff. Oh, we got... Well, I'm doing this now anyway. Whoa! Ow! Got a little too anxious there. Ugh, Ciel's getting close to dying there. But I've only got one more battle to go through. I don't want to waste my course points with, like, a restore or something, so... I'll play it a little risky. Aha! Whoa! Okay, so you scan this area. If I can get there without poking myself to death. Game. I love ice dungeons. I love ice dungeons. I love ice dungeons. Okay, anyway, we got some blue lapises there. Those are useful for aqua orbs. A chi bracelet, or a kai bracelet, or key bracelets, or however you want to pronounce it. I don't know. But anyway, I pronounce it chi. So anyway, yeah, it boosts uh, CL stats pretty good. So she'll be able to deal a little extra damage. So that's pretty nice. And we go up here, and we get a protect orb that I think I'm just going to convert. Yeah, I, I don't think I have any use for that. Uh, where are you? There we go. 500 force points. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that force site to heal up, and I'll meet you back at the save point there off screen. Okay, we're back. We're all healed up and ready to go. So this time, let's take the right right path to the end. I almost said righteous path, but, uh, well, I guess that's sort of true, but, uh, well, anyway. And still can't move the camera around. Whoa. Okay, I think that's the only enemy down here. Well, actually, if you look on the map, there's something up there, so... Spoiler alert, we're gonna have to fight something up there, so... First things first, let's, uh... Get some good stuff going on CL there. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna need at least two more electric orbs, so let's do that. And while we're at it... Oh, I used all my, uh, arrow orb, too, there. Uh, can I make an arrow cane yet? No, I do... Er... Oh! Yeah, I can do that. Okay. I just need to, uh, remove it. Okay, so, let's get, uh, electric orb. Equip as many as you can, although I think two should be enough, but I just have the one with the one charge, so I figured I might as well use that. Now, with that arrow orb, we can make an arrow cane. So, let's do that. And I don't really like the arrow cane, so I'm just going to convert it into force points. So, yeah, it's a way of giving new life to old things that you used up. Unfortunately, there is no bolt cane or, like, electric cane or whatever, so I would not worry about that. Okay, so, let's see, we got that on you. You're looking pretty good. Okay, I think we're all set and ready to go. You know what? Let me see how much it would cost me to, uh... You know what? CL doesn't have that much HP, or, yeah, HP... So, uh, let's, uh, use the restore option there. It doesn't cost that much RP. And let's head on up to what lies beyond. I'm gonna go for a little extra length on this episode since it's been a little while since the last episode. And of course, like all good JRPGs, there are always giant robots. That's no doll. That's a space state. I mean, uh, robot. But I suppose if you live in medieval times and you've never seen, like, gears or robots or, or anything like that, you'd probably think it was some kind of voodoo doll or something like that. Well, how about I, uh, work my voodoo on you? Hey, I'm from the Empire. What do you mean? Oh, well, yeah, there is Greek. Ha ha. Is that how you spell Solus? For boss time! I'll bash this contraption to pieces! <laughs> oh, I love Greek. <laughs> okay, first things first. Um, I could use Berserk, which is a really good force burst, but you know what? I'm going to save that for later. 
Uh, let's see. Let's go with Predator's Bite for now. <laughs> I like the voice for Phantasma. Uh, do you have anything useful you can do? Not really. I mean, I guess you could use Gust Thrust. This battle kind of reminds me of the battle at Alma Mine in Radiant Historia, just with the epic music and taking revenge for the robot destroying your beloved peasant village, although that was an awesome but Still, I like it. I love this movie. <laughs> okay, so let's go another predator fight. Basically, this guy's weak to thunder! That's why I'm using the electric orb. Uh, it also matches his... Uh, what is it? Uh, aspect. So we're still going to be dealing pretty average damage. Huh? Oh. Huh. I wonder if that was just because I dealt damage to it or something. I forget. Yeah! Got him! Take that, you rusted out shitbox. So yeah, that's one thing I like about the... Uh, uh, Phantasma Alpha is that, uh, well, you'd never encounter it on uh, Cecilia's path. We'll learn more about Phantasma later. We also get Phantasm Alloy from it, one of the few places in the game where we can get some of that. Good thing we got uh, those level ups there. So, well, you'll see. Ha uh ha. -huh. Go Greek! I think this calls for some Lagravasa time. Hmm? Who's there? Oh, hey, it's Faust. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Hey, uh, we ran into a little bit of trouble on our, our way out, but, uh, well, it's good to see you again. Oh, yeah, wh what are you doing here? Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, no. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, glad to see everyone's still doing alright here. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you're like the, uh,. Well, I mean, you're pretty high up there, aren't you? Oh. Oh, you're not gonna rat me out or anything? Well, I suppose he does kind of like us, so... Alright. Hmm? Uh, I don't think that was made out of wood, but, uh, we can pretend. Oh! You built that thing? It killed a lot of guys, though. What'd you do that for? Oh. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, what is he doing here anyway with that robot? Did it just go loose or something and... You lost control of it or something? Hmm. I wonder what that's all about. Well, remember that for later viewers. Especially if you're playing a new game plus. If you're playing a regular new game, not a whole lot you can do with that. Hmm. Well, you just kind of... Oh. I thought you just designed him or something. Ah, Golem. Gollum, or whatever. However you like to pronounce it. Oh, we kicked its ass. Whoa, 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 Greek, hold on. What's going on? Oh, sorry, I went through that a little quickly there, but... Yeah, I mean, he, he just made a mistake, man. Oh, well, yeah, he is kind of from the Empire. 
Who are we going to side with? Greek or Faust? Well, what if he's dead? Well, what, humans don't aren't hot-headed either? Well, you did kind of design that robot. Oh, he was under... He did directly control him. I thought maybe he, like, lost control of him or something. Damn it, Faust. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal! Let's kick his ass! What plan was that? Well, I don't think so, Faust. We can take you. Time against Faust himself. Yeah. Okay, now Faust is a different breed of cat altogether. So first things first, we want to use dessert there. Now uh, the vo Greek's voice actor must have had so much fun with that. I'm so beautiful. So. Your weapon of choice is a harp? To... Never mind. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's see, with Faust here, we want to use... Hmm... Let's see, let's use Eagle Eye there. Deal a little extra damage. Strikes his uh, aspect weakness there as well. And we also want to use Blitz Assault there. Even though he's strong against Fine. the aspect of it, It still deals a crap ton of damage there. I love this music here. The villain is finally revealed. And epic boss fight, epic music, ice dungeon. What more do you want? Yeah, this was the part of the game where I really started getting into it. I didn't realize that this music actually played before, during the first boss fight of the game. I, I, this was when I first thought uh, we heard it, but uh, yeah, after I replayed the game, I was like, oh, right. Haha! -ha! Not so tough after all, huh? Oh. Yeah, you kind of had the same decision there, Levant. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Finish him! Oh. Not now, Stripe. I'm almost done here. Oh, alright. I'll give you head scratches. Whoa! And of course, like all good JRPGs, the villains can teleport and we cannot. Oh well. But it looks like he dropped that thing. That stitch old thing, whatever it is, I don't know. Hmm. I wonder if he dropped that on purpose. I mean, they never say so one way or the other. I mean, as far as we ever know, he accidentally dropped it while he was teleporting out. And he's like, oops. 
And that's it. They never really say anything about that ever again. No. No, I want to get the treasure here. Don't teleport me out automatically. Please? But yeah, I wonder if it's like when Faust dropped that. I wonder if that's one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, the bad guy is just manipulating you to do what he really wants you to do. But Okay, I'm going to go back to that boss room there because um, there's a couple treasures we can get there. You don't have to do it if you don't want, but I'll just meet you down there. Okay, we're back. Uh, one thing I kind of glossed over there, uh, from Faust there, we won a Royal Liquid, and that's going to be very useful for us, just like the Lymphos fluid there, so you want to hold on to those for later. But anyway, you go over here, you scan, or... No, I'm thinking of something else. Ah, there we go. Here we get Ice Crystals. All right, those are useful for some crafting later on. And if we scan here, where you can see that little uh, altar in the back there, we get a power orb. You have selected power drive. So let's uh, convert that into some force points there. Anything else I can convert? No? No, I think we'll leave well enough alone. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to get the Holy Cravando's attack up to 24 here. However, I want to make sure that I'm still going to have 7,000 force points left over, which I do, barely. So, phew! Okay, and there's a very good reason I want exactly 7,000 force points left over before heading on back to Gold's Forum. Why is that? Find out next time on Let's Play Hexes Force. This is HG Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.